Hi there. Didn't see you there. Well, let me ask you about something. What's the last thing you did before quarantine started? Well, for me, it was just stressing about schoolworks. Seriously, the day before quarantine started, me and my friends was really stressed and tired with projects coming left and right, and club week activities starting. Imagine the relief we got when we heard there was going to be a two-week break. We would never thought this would happen. A year and two months in lockdown, stuck in our homes, only seeing each other through the power of the internet. As I'm a month or so away from being a grade 10 student, I had a flashback to when I was grade 7. I really thought we would be like our Atis and Kuyas back then, inspiring the freshmen and setting an example. Yet, in the context now, it seems impossible. Thanks to a microorganism and <coughs> inefficient government, <coughs> our social lives and high school life is about as interesting as it comes. Now, why did the coronavirus spread so fast and efficiently? Well, first of all, once you got it, it takes around 3 to 14 days before symptoms starts. And there's also a possibility that you won't have symptoms at all. Unless you are tested right away, there is a possibility that you can infect at least 50 people. And that 50 people can infect 50 each, at most. So with a virus designed to infect and spread faster than the latest fashion trends, yeah, not allowing people to leave their homes is a, is a pretty smart idea. Except if you don't do anything while the people are still obedient and stay inside, causing people to eventually need to work, causing more opportunities for infection. And they really pinned us to the corner, didn't they? So, what did they do while we were still in major lockdown last year? Create a plan to help not financially stable families? Or how about make hospitals bigger to compensate for the number of patients being admitted? Or how about convincing people to stay inside instead of forcing them? Not of that stuff. Instead, they made a magic beach that can relieve all our mental health issues and shut down one of the major media branches in our country while you are boasting about how much of a good person you are. Bravo. Just bravo to you, sir. Uh, all jokes and sarcastic comments aside. With another year of lockdowns and online classes, how can we possibly survive? Well, I will share with you things I did to ease my mind about this scenario we are in. First of all, I think being in constant communication with friends throughout the lockdown helped because at least once a day we would talk about stuff and even if we were not together, we would still make each other smile and be happy, happy and have a good time. Isn't that great, right? Second, consume a lot of media. I know you will say that's not very healthy. As long as you have control and know your limits, it's a pretty good escape from it all. For me personally, I played at least 10 different games, watched over 20 shows, and subscribed to 20 new YouTube channels in this span of the lockdown. And yes, some of them are educational, don't worry. It doesn't even have to be media. It can be it can be your hobby, or you can get into working out, or you can take care of your pet. Just anything to keep you sane and have an escape from the stress of this remote learning. Speaking of remote learning, I have a couple of tips I have done to make sure I don't cram and be on time for the deadline. Quick disclaimer, these tips might only apply if you are in the synchronous learning modality. One tip is to create a mindset that you have to pass a requirement one to three days early. Think of it as a personal deadline aside from the deadline that the teacher gave. Having that mindset alone prevents the main reason for cramming. Another is to prioritize subjects and tasks with low difficulty. If you can do them on the day that the task is given better, so you can have time to use your free times for longer and harder projects. And that's the most important thing. I believe that procrastination happens because you don't have any time for yourself. And you put off doing tasks so you can have time time for yourself. Uh, easy solution for that is don't do any work at night. Finish all the, the work for the day before the sun sets. So you can have time for yourself. So with that, I mentioned that being in con constant contact with your friends or having someone to talk to is really helpful. 
So I will leave links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord in the description. So to whoever watches this video and needs someone to talk to, you can contact me if you really need to. And don't worry, I'm a fast replier. And with that, stay safe, stay, stay healthy, and hope that this will be all over later or even more later.